Yo, what is going on guys? Today we got something new. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create this trippy 3D kind of look all in After Effects. No plugins needed. Like I said, it looks pretty crazy. You guys just saw from that first clip, it kind of brought in. You can kind of see like through the particles and then I made it like zoom back out. I'll show you how to do that using a simple keyframe. So first of all, let's take our footage right here. Let's just bring it into After Effects. What I found is that this look looks best if you just have a very nice close up of like the face performing or maybe of like hands, something where it's kind of closer to the camera and not like a wide shot. It's like better for close ups. And now we're just going to make a few adjustments. If you guys would like to color grade in After Effects, you could do that right now. I'm just going to color grade it in Premiere at the very end. Um, I'm probably not going to show that in this tutorial. I'll just link you guys to my color grading tutorial at the end just because it's a different process. But in terms of the effect, it's actually very simple in how we're going to set this up. So first thing you're going to want to do, go up here to Layer and then go over to New and then Camera. We're going to make a 50 millimeter camera. So if you come over here to Preset, just click 50 millimeter, click OK. And that's good. Um, this little pop-up box will show up right here. Just click OK. So now we're able to add this effect and the coolest thing about this is it's actually very simple just because this is all done within one actual effect which is already built into After Effects and that is called the card dance effects. So I'm pretty sure this is CC 2015 and after so I'm not sure don't quote me on that but drag your card dance effect onto your clip. Now we're going to change over some settings I'm just going to go through this slowly so you guys can uh, follow along with this. Um, we're going to go over here where it says columns gradient layer one we're just going to make that our footage just like that. Um, we're going to come down here to Y scale where it says camera system, change camera position to comp camera. What that's going to do is it's just going to make sure that the camera is actually following the camera we already added in. All right, so now we're going to go over to Z position. We're going to open that up and we're actually going to open up this little offset slider and we're going to move this back so that you can see this kind of backed up just because I kind of like the look it gives that to start with. And then under Z position, we're going to come up here to source, click on that, make that intensity one. Oops. Make that intensity one. You're going to see that these turn into little cards. And now all we have to do is just change the number of rows and columns to make this so that there's a lot more of this kind of like choppiness. So we're going to bump that up to 250, bump this up to like 250. And you see you get this kind of like grainy, crazy looking like thousands of different little cards and it just breaks it up it looks cool it's like three-dimensional as you can see it like hangs off the screen so that looks pretty cool in itself and now we're going to add one more thing we're actually going to add a light so we're going to go to layer new light and i'm just going to click ok i'm going to drag that up and then i'm just going to bring this so that it's kind of lighting the very top of this all right, now the coolest thing about this tutorial is there's really so many different things you can experiment with what I'm about to teach you or this like or this look in general. You don't have to make it look like the beginning clip I just made. That's just something I made out of the techniques that are that I learned from this. Um, you guys can really just go crazy, just change your settings, create something that looks insane um, because there's so much crazy stuff and crazy looks you can really create with this. But but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I did that beginning thing. So um, this is so this is a pretty cool thing what we're gonna do is we're actually going to keyframe the offset so that this moves from being like backed up three-dimensional camera being like through or super close to these squares so as you can see here's the squares here we can even move it like all the way in um, you can change the multiplier to like move around the particles you can do a bunch of craziness so whenever I'm doing this, my ultimate goal is to create something that looks cool, but not too overdone, not too underdone. Something that looks new, something that looks, um, something that you can still decipher, but it has a nice, a good, something you can still decipher, but it has a good amount of distortion. So like I said, let's move offset back here. We're going to keyframe this so that it kind of animates going from back here in 3D space to like in your face. And then we're going to like rotate stuff. We're going to change a bunch of different keyframes to kind of make those like particles like move. So let's click this little time button right here on offset. Make sure you're at your starting position. Let's move around halfway. Move about right here. And we're going to make our offset like crazy zoomed in right about there. And then if this is kind of moved a little bit to the left, what you can do is just come to the X position, just zoom back. You can actually keyframe your offset for here because what the offset is really doing is it's just moving um, parts of your screen over. So for example, if this is too far to the left, just take your offset once it's keyframed to X. And you can just adjust that like that, just to straighten that out. All right, so now we have this cool little zoom in thing where we have him back in 3D space. And then we zoom in on the money. And then as we're zooming in, you can see all those crazy particles. Like I said, the closer you get, the more awesome it's going to look. So now let's do some more stuff where we can change this up and try and make those like particles kind of like bounce. So under here where it says multiplier, we're going to come back here. We're actually going to drop this down, this little slider. We're going to click our animation button at about this point so we want to add one here we're going to come to the point where it is zoomed in and we're just going to bump up our multiplier and what you're going to see is that just kind of like adds more distortion kind of like bumps up the pixels and stuff like that as you see i drag it more and the more 
particles like kind of come out it looks like he's kind of like crushing the money we'll come to here and then we'll just keyframe that so that it goes back to one at around there so let me just drag through here a little bit as you can see the more I keyframe the multiplier the more things kind of like come towards you and like I said I'm doing that all in the X position so make sure you guys are following along closely just because you can get confused starting off between the X position the Y position the Z position but like I said if you guys are creative enough enough you can just go through all these settings change around whatever you like just keyframing the offset the multiplier get something you like that's cool um, another nice thing is you can actually go and change the rotation so when it comes in and kind of rotates a little bit I'm not gonna do it for this but that is an option that you can do and that's about it like I said I didn't want to overdo it because I think this already looks kind of like insane as it is I really encourage you guys to go ahead and look through all these different settings try and create try and create your own work um, I feel like not a lot of people talk about this effect on, t on YouTube there might be like a few tutorials and I don't think any tutorials out there really go in depth as I do I know Justin Odisho has one where he talks about how to sync music to this kind of card dance effect I'll link that below if you want to check that out it's a really good video and then like I said I'm just gonna color grade real quick in Premiere just because it's easier to color grade if you guys use After Effects to color grade you can do that check out my color grade tutorial if you want a free Check out my color grade tutorial. It'll be linked below if you really want a step-by-step um, -step tutorial on how to do this. But I'm just going to go through the methods. It's actually really easy. You just change the color wheels and bump the shadows down. But I also did to the beginning just to add the kind of little um, cinematic, like kind of like matrix-like matrix effect. Is I added, I added a sapphire glow and a sapphire flicker. Um, so two cool little effects that are in the sapphire pack. If you do have that and you want to add that in there. Add those two on there, and then this is what you get. So anyways, guys, like I said, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys would like to see next in the comment section down below. Um, if you guys are in the editing contest, you still have three days from when this upload is posted to be able to get that out. All right, so anyways, guys, hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.